And if you want to miss another video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you receive notifications. What is up my fellow Dovakins? Today, we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make PewDiePie's banner inside of Photoshop. So let's get into it. First, I'm going to start with a document of 1920 by 1080 at a resolution of 300 and create. Now once it's created, we're going to start off with a red. You can select the red from the right hand corner and then I'm just going to paint this whole thing in. Yeah, I could use fill but it's just easier to do this. Now that it's painted, I'm going to go to the gradient tool which if you can't see, just right click. You probably have the paint bucket tool but the gradient tool is there. You want to set these to black and red. I already have them selected. So now I'm just going to hold shift, right click and drag down. That will then create this gradient. So I'm going to next go to filter and on filter I'm going to go to distort wave and then on wave I'm going to set my wavelengths to about 50 to 51 and then I'll play about with them and see what I get. So once I set I'm going to apply a number of generators probably the max and there we go we're looking for red and black lines. Now once that's done I'm going to have to create a new layer here, so let's do this, Control shift n and then Enter, it doesn't matter what the name of it is. And I'm going to make sure I have red selected and just use the paintbrush tool, painting this whole layer. With this whole layer painted in, I'm going to unlock the background layer. I'm going to drag the background layer over the top and then, and then I'm going to use Select Color Range to select all the black area. So once that's done, I can press OK. That will then select that and I can create a clipping mask from the bottom right. Once I've created a clipping mask, I'm going to Control J to duplicate this. Once it is done, turn off the one below, then I'm going to Control T and I'm going to right click and then rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Now once that's done, I'm going to zoom out by holding down Control and minus and then I'm going to start holding down Shift and dragging these two points to the edges. Once they're dragged to these edges, on all four, we now have this, something a little closer to what we're looking for. So I'll just make sure this is perfect. It is. And there we go. Now we can zoom back in by hitting Control zero. Press it right back to default zoom. And now with this, I'm going to Control J once again, just so I am not messing up this layer and I have this safe. And then with this, I'm actually going to rasterize the style by converting it to a smart object. And then rasterizing, there's probably an easier way to do that, but I'm going to Control J once again, so I have this safe, and turn off the one below. Now, we're going to go to Filter, Distort, Wave. Now inside of this, we're going to have to play about with this a bit, so let's see what happens if we do that, and bring down the number of generators to zero. Now here, we can play with the wavelength, we can play with the amplitude too. So I'm going to put the amplitude up a little bit, not too much. About 78 to 79 is good. I have my wavelength, 132 to 133. And I'm going to press OK now that it, it creates this. So now we're almost there. Now let's Control T. Let's zoom out by Control minus. And then let's turn this thing around a little bit. Rotate it. And then I'm going to bring it to size. It's that simple. So I'm going to hold down Alt and just bring it up. So once we've got something, let's keep going around in this area, I think. Let's just, let's just go a little bit more. That's enough, I think. Let's hit it now. And that's pretty much it for PewDiePie's banner. Now, if you want to get one of those like weird effects, you can go to filter, liquefy, and then you could always just bring up the whole tool at the top here. Uh, bring your brush. And just liquefy this however you want. That's always an option. And that will do a good trick. So let's liquefy it a little bit and apply that. So now with that applied, we have this weird thing. Yeah. But I'm going to Control Z to undo. Uh, and then once that is undone, I'm going to go to Filter. Distort wave. So if we do wave twice, we can kind of create that effect. So I might mess about with the wavelength. Bring that up or down. Probably up. Let's bring it to about there. And then let's press OK. And then let's just fix this thing. 
And there we go. We'll get something similar. So you can kind of mess about with that bit, but I've shown you the basics on how to do this. I'm basically going to end it there. Thanks for watching, guys. That's the end of the tutorial. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff if you want. I'm out until the next video. Peace. Thank you.